as you may know from my previous videos, I've got a new server and I'm going to be playing around with it for a while and, and not quite making content on it, but at the same time I will do when I can. It has a, a SAS Mega Raid card in it. LSI Mega Raid. I want to update the, the firmware on it, but I'm having a few problems running it from FreeDOS. It, it may be that it's a FreeDOS problem rather than a MS-DOS problem. However, there's a port in FreeBSD ports for it. Let's take a look at that and see if it actually works. Right, so this hopefully won't be a very long video. Let's check it out. So I've got ports installed. I picked that option from the install media. But SysUtil by any chance? Yeah. So we'll change into SysUtils. And there it is, Mega CLI. Let's have a quick look at the make file because I've got a funny feeling that this is, yeah, perfect. Yeah. So let's get that made and see what happens. There you go, the download is it. And it's installed. That was quite simple. So what I'll do is the, the latest firmware for that card, I'm going to just quickly SCP over. So log into it. So this is what I'm using. I'm using WinSCP and in my downloads, this is pretty much the same sort of way I did the IPMI update. In my downloads, what's it called? 11 so there it is and there's the firmware i want so let's make a directory in here and just call it rom i've noticed upload that read right read right and let's go back to my ssh let's check it's there really let's go back to it a minute mega cli 64 well that's interesting so why Let's have a look. So, user local sbin. There it is. That's because it's capitalized. Okay. So, I want mega command tool invoked with wrong parameters. Yeah, I knew that. So, I have a command to do this. Let's go into our ROM directory. See what happens. Oh, really? <laughs> 1078, 1101. Right. Okay. That's interesting. Let's have a quick look to see if I can find a later version. It's a bit of a nightmare searching through this, I've got to tell you. Right, driver, driver, driver. I don't want drivers, I want firmwares. Clicked on the wrong one. So what does 054? Oh wow. So the latest available is 048 and on the card is 05. Where does that make sense? I want to force it because I want it on a supported version. Wow, there's a lot of stuff there. Mega CLI, force, slash, uh, capital F. Okay, so we'll try that then. May or may not work. We'll have a try. Capital F. Uh, no. The CHK. What I was really hoping from this this card, this um, SAS controller, was for it to be a HBA and just pass through all of the disks that were on it to the OS, but that didn't happen, which is unfortunate because I've got four disks in it at the moment, two one terabytes and two 500 gigs, small disks. I will get bigger ones at some point. So let's have a quick reboot of that and see what happens. I'm going to watch the IPMI. Let's get logged into IPMI. Oh, really? What's my IP address? 59. Mm. Okay, let's just reboot it and see what happens. D-O-W-N. Now, Fans have ramped up, ramping even higher. It's taking the package. Two virtual drives. You know, it's interesting. It's very interesting to me that the firmware that was on it was later than the latest that's on their website. Now, I can only assume this card is well out of support. That doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so let's restart this terminal. You don't like doing that at the moment. I'm gonna change that IP address address at some point right okay we'll look at the log so it's gone from 54 to 26 but the question is why because there's well that's interesting there's 36 there so the currents i mean it even says that it's 42 
Should we get that one? You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Oopsie. Let's extract that. Because I want this on pretty much the latest I can get it on. I know, it was on a later one before I started this, but hey. Let's copy that image over. Yeah, that's not the one. Phase date. So then that one. Go for eight. Such an easy command to do. Mega CLI minus ADA, ADP, FW flash, minus F for the file name. And it's done. Okay, I'm going to reboot that again. You're going to watch the output. Okay, starting up. You can probably just see that, can't you? 048, all the disks show up. The logical drives show up. Now, at some point, I'll go through that BIOS and just see if there's any differences. There probably isn't. There we go. So that's up and running. So that's now on the latest firmware. It's really that simple. Let's have a look at the, the log. Yeah. On the controller was 2.6, now 4.8. So that's very easy to use. That's great. Question is, why is IPMI not working now? Let's have a quick scan of the network. Interesting. What's it doing on that, my feet? Yeah, that's very strange. I'm too worried about IPMI at the moment, to be honest. I, I can fix that. I probably stupidly turned it off in the BIOS, doesn't it? Doesn't matter. It was working, and I can sort that out. So there we go. It really is quite simple to change the um, the Mega Raid firmware using Mega CLI that's uh, in FreeBSD ports. Now, if that's not support for a major platform, this server, I don't know what is. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. See you later. I think that'll do it for now. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. No, that's crap. I think that'll do it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. That'll do it.